Hello and welcome to the video that explains the voltage divider. The voltage divider is an extremely powerful concept in circuit analysis and quite often will allow you to uh, solve a circuit um, without using anything but the voltage divider. Uh, it's used all the time uh, as you're looking at circuits and trying to understand what's going on. So um, to illustrate what the voltage divider is, let's start off with a very simple circuit. Uh, you might see a circuit like this if you were working with, uh, say, uh, resistance-based sensors, uh, for example, a strain gauge or maybe a thermistor. Okay, so let's assume we have a 2K ohm resistor and a 3K ohm resistor. Okay, we have 5 volts. Now, the th important uh, concept here, and the only time we can apply the voltage divider, is if we have two or more resistors that are in series. Fortunately, these two resistors are in series uh, because you'll notice that any current that flows through the 2K ohm resistor must also flow through the 3K ohm resistor because at the point they're connected, there's no other connections. So there's no way that current can flow off this way out into space or whatever. Um, so uh, yeah, basically the idea is that you have to have a series connected resistors in order for the voltage divider to work. Now in the video on single loop circuits, and hopefully it's clear to you that this is a single loop circuit, uh, there basically I have these three elements in series, the 5 volt source and then the two resistors. In the video on single loop circuits, we discovered that the current flowing through both resistors and also the voltage source is the sum of the sources, in this case 5 volts, divided by the sum of the resistors, which in this case is 2K ohms plus 3K ohms. Okay, and I could if I wanted to actually work that out. I'm not going to though because I'd like to uh, look at uh, the voltage across these resistors. So let's label these voltages. We'll call this V3 K ohms. So that's the voltage across this 3K ohm resistor. And we'll also get the voltage across the 2K ohm resistor. Okay, now using the results from single loop circuits, I've figured out what the current is. So the voltage, here we'll, we'll do this 2K ohm resistor in orange. So V 2K ohms is the current flowing through the resistor, which is I times 2K ohms. But you'll notice that I already know what I is. I've solved for that. So I can write this as 5 volts over 2K ohms plus 3K ohms times um, 2K ohms. And now I'll rearrange things, so I'll write this as 5 volts times 2K ohms over 2K ohms plus 3K ohms. So you can see what I have here is <coughs> I have the source voltage, 5 volts, times the ratio of the resistor that I'm interested in, the 2K ohm resistor, over the sum of the resistors. And if I work this out, this is going to be 5 volts uh, times 2,000 over 2,000 plus 3,000, which when I work it out is going to end up giving me 2 volts. Okay, so um, that's a really handy result. It turns out to be pretty, well, it turns out to be general and it turns out to be uh, very useful. So we'll also do this uh, 3K ohm resistor. V3K ohms. This is I times 3K ohms. And without going through all the steps so explicitly, this turns out to be 5 volts, 3K ohms over 
to k ohms plus 3k ohms, which in this case is equal to 3 volts. Okay, so again, we find the voltage across one of these series resistors by taking the voltage across the pair of them, that is from this point to this point is 5 volts. So we have this. Multiplying it by the resistor that we want to find the voltage across, in this case 3k ohm, and then dividing by the sum of the resistors. So if we want to, or to generalize this, if we have two resistors that are in series, we'll call this R1 and R2, and they have a voltage across them of, say, V sub S volts, then the voltage across R1, which I'll call V1, V1 is R1 over R1 plus R2 times the source voltage, that is the voltage from here to here. V2, similarly, is R2 over R1 plus R2 V sub S. Okay, so this is the voltage divider. Okay, so um, it's a very simple result, but again, it shows up all the time. It's, it's extremely useful. So um, I guess, well, I'm trying to decide if we need to do one more example. I guess you can never have too many examples, so let's do one more example. And with this example, we'll also illustrate something else about the voltage divider. Okay, so suppose I have a voltage source of 10 volts. And I have the source connected to three resistors. We're going to get tricky here. Okay, and suppose uh, this is a 2 ohm resistor, a 3 ohm resistor, and a 5 ohm resistor. And I want to find the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor. Okay, well, this isn't exactly the voltage divider that we've talked about because instead of having, uh, well, everything is in series, so I have a single loop circuit, but instead of having two resistors, I now have three resistors. Well, it turns out that the voltage divider is easily extended the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage across the series combination of the three resistors times the voltage of the resistor that I'm interested or I'm sorry the resistance of the resistor that I'm interested in finding the voltage across uh, over the sum of the resistors and because I picked good values, that turns out to be 2 volts. So the nice thing about the voltage divider is that it does extend to more than two resistors in series. Similarly, I could get the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor, which is going to be 10 volts times 3 ohms over 2 ohms plus 3 ohms plus 5 ohms. And this turns out to be 3 volts. And uh, I'll leave it as an exercise to the interested viewer. This is going to be 5 volts. OK. Well, I think with that, we'll stop. Again, the voltage divider turns out to be extremely useful because you're very often uh, presented in circuit analysis with situations where you have two or more resistors in series. And you know the voltage across the series combination. And so you want to find the voltage across each of the resistors. It's a great tool. So with that, we'll conclude this video.